I'm Maxi. And I'm Nick. And this is my congressional app challenge submission. So I made a physics calculator, which is made to help people who are struggling in physics, particularly with uh, kinetic energy, uh, gravitational potential <laughs> energy, and um, calculating final speeds get when an object is dropped from a specific height. So here is my class for the physics calculator where I set, um, where I have con uh, constraints and I set the height, speed, and mass based on what they give me. And then it calculates the initial kinetic energy given the initial speed and the initial mass. I calculate the initial gravitational potential e energy given the initial height that they tell us. And, uh, and mass as well. And I calculate the final speed given the height and the initial speed. And as well as the final kinetic energy by s solving for the final speed. And then in this, in my tester part of the, um, of the program, my tester class, I, have, I ask um, for them to input the, the amount of kilograms that the object weighs, the height at which we're dropping the object from, and the speed that, it's, that you initially drop it at. And what it does is it calculates, um, it creates a new object for that called a uh, free fall. And it calculates everything and uh, like the, and it, it uh, outputs it in a J option pane. So let me just run it. So how many kilograms? Let's just put five. At what height are you dropping the object? Let's say 10 meters. And at what speed? Let's put 15 meters per second downward. And so then it outputs an object with a mass of five kilograms and dropped from a height of 10 meters above the ground at a speed of 15 meters per second, has an initial kinetic energy of 562.5 joules, has an initial gravitational potential energy of 490 joules. It will have a final velocity of 20.52 meters per second and have a final kinetic energy of 1,052 joules and a final gravitational potential energy of zero because that's when it hits the ground. So thank you for uh, listening to my app and